This is Nexus 5, and today I'm going to see if this is a must buy. So let's hop right into it. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Jan from Wisecoots, and today I'm going to review the Nexus 5. So I have divided this video into five parts. So there is uh, five different uh, areas. Uh, I'm going to look the five different aspects of this phone. So let's hop right into it and see if this is a worth buying one. The first aspect what we're going to cover at the Nexus 5 is the design point. The Nexus 5 is influenced by the LG G2. At the bottom of the screen we can see the micro USB where we can charge the device. On the right side of the device we can see the power button and on the left side of the screen we can see the volume up and down. It has the ceramic buttons so that means when you push the button you can really feel when you push it. On the top of the device it has the 3.5mm headphone jack. On the front it has the 1080 by 1920 screen with 5 inch screen with Gorilla Glass 3 in it. So it has the True HD IPS Plus device and it screams of pixels. So it has 445 pixels per inch. On the front of the device it has the 1.3 megapixel camera and on the back of the device it has the 8 megapixel OIS camera which uh, stands for optical image stabilization and uh, the camera is decent i will also do the camera test on later on the next thing what i'm going to discuss is the display the display on the nexus 5 is extraordinary for that price point you will get extremely quality and not even washed out colors with that display so it has the 5 inch screen with gorilla glass 3 on it and it's the true HD IPS Plus display. So IPS means that you will get really good viewing angles from your screen. So you and your friend could watch this same screen. And it screams of pixels. It has 445 pixels per inch. So that means it is really clear. And the pixels are so tiny that you will get really good picture. And um, I'm going to pick the third one. And as you see that the quality of this picture is really good and actually what you see here is that um, it has the Android 4.4 and that means that I can watch the pictures fully but I'm going to discuss that later on in this video. Display is extraordinarily beautiful and the colors are really good. The next point what I'm going to discuss is the camera. The cameras on the Nexus 5 are pretty decent. They are not like... Um, the best ones, but they are doing the job greatly. When your friends looking at the photos what you have taken with the Nexus 5, they won't be blown away like wow was that taken with a camera? With a smartphone camera? No, that's not the case. On the front of the screen it has the 1.3 megapixel and on the back it has the 8 megapixel camera with OS. So that improves the quality of your videos and pictures. So as you see from these photos, the colors aren't washed out and this is the comparison with the Android 4.4 and Android 4.4.2. So as you see that the newer version of Android is making a big improvement with the camera quality. And the shutter lag is much more smaller. So newer Android is a really good update. So right now I'm recording with the Nexus 5 and you will hear how crystal clear is the sound quality. And the performance is actually one of the best smartphones out of in the world. The recording is it blew me away, really, listen to it. So you heard how crystal clear and how the bass sound. It is really one of the best cameras out in the world when you want to film anything. The next thing what I'm going to discuss about is software. So Nexus 5 is running the latest and greatest Android and that's called Android KitKat aka Android 4.4. Now it has an update Android 4.4.2 what improved camera and software wise a bit. So if you see that um, it's running the latest and greatest Android but uh, you will see that uh, the hollow looking is gone. With, uh, what came with Android 4.0 and I really like it because um, it's an elegant white looking and it's really elegant and simpler to use. There is a change the SMS and MMS app to Hangouts what I really hate. I downloaded a separate app what I suggest you to do because um, the Hangouts is really bad app. It doesn't do anything actually if you want to it's uh, so messed up. 
So Android 4.4 has several features, uh, for example, immersive mode. That means basically that you have the full screen real estate if you are looking like ebook and it has faster multitasking. And on the app store, app screen, uh, where you see all your apps icons are a lot bigger. So that is what I at the beginning uh, hated, but now I really like it. So this was overlook of the software. Let's get on to the performance and gaming. This phone, call quality, is pretty good. It's decent, it's not the best one, but it's pretty good. It has that one earpiece, which you can uh, hear from, and uh, it does the job. And the other listeners are hearing it pretty good. So, it fits pretty nicely towards your head. It's not too big, and it fits nicely to your pocket. Nexus 5 has 4G and LTE chip built onto it, so it is a powerhouse. That means that the websites are running really fast and smooth from your phone. It has 2.3 GHz quad-core Snapdragon 800. If to, to a regular user that doesn't mean anything, but uh, this is a beast. That runs the latest and greatest Android games smoothly, with no lag, any lag at all. This phone is a powerhouse. Trust me, believe me, this is a powerhouse. With that GPU, GPU and processor, this phone is really fast. So as you see, I'm playing Real Racing 3, what I'm suggesting you to download because the graphics are really good and with Nexus 5 it is no problem to handle this because it runs smoothly. The next thing I'm going to show you is that from the screen, from the game, you can actually see the notifications and it will pause automatically. So that is a good feature to have in Android 4.4. So as you see I'm playing Cat Row, not so good, but yeah, that was the video on gaming and performance. So this is the review of the Nexus 5. Will I suggest you to get one of these? Yeah, definitely. If you can get your hands on, then definitely get Nexus 5. This is one of the best smartphones of this year, because with that price point, you will receive an unbelievable performance. So this was the review of the Nexus 5. Leave your comments in the description below what you think about this product and overall this video. So I have that uh, this new style and it's 2014. So if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because I make these awesome videos often and 2014 will be an awesome year. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll catch you later in my next one. Peace. <laughs>